I bought myself a new dulcimer. It is Ailey Dulcimer, and if you watched my last vlog, you know that I met my 2020 New Year's resolution of being more consistent with playing my hammer dulcimer. What I didn't tell you is that I had made a deal with myself. If I could consistently play from January 2020 all the way to the end of December 2020, I would treat myself to a new dulcimer. The reason why I've been thinking about getting a new dulcimer for a while is that uh, my current dulcimer, the one that you see in all the videos that I post, is a 1312 size dulcimer. Now basically what that means is that there are 13 sets of notes on the treble bridge and there are 12 notes on the bass bridge. This is considered a relatively small dulcimer. Uh, the average size dulcimer is usually 1615, which means that there are 16 sets of notes on the treble bridge and 15 on the bass. Starting with a 1312 dulcimer was perfect. Uh, it's a small instrument, it's a great place to begin because there's just less to worry about and less to tune. But as I've gotten more confident in my playing and have started playing more complicated pieces with a larger range of notes, uh, I've been running into more and more situations where I don't have the notes that I need in order to play the music. So. I'm, I've been ready for a larger instrument for a while. I just had to prove to myself that uh, spending the money on a larger instrument and a, a good instrument would be worth the investment. That's where my New Year's resolution came in. I felt like if I could be consistent in my playing for an entire year, that showed that I was really ready for the next step up in getting a good, larger instrument for myself. So like I said, I've been thinking about getting a new hammer dulcimer since 2019, and that's given me a lot of time to consider exactly what kind of instrument that I wanna upgrade to. I looked at a whole bunch of different dulcimer makers and I thought about exactly what I wanted in a new instrument and while I was searching the different makers, um, I decided that there were two things that I was really looking for. One, I wanted to find an instrument that was made out of solid wood. My current dulcimer is made out of laminated wood, which makes a, a more affordable instrument and it also makes a more durable instrument, but the solid wood gives you a more resonating sound, a clearer sound, and I really like a, a good sound quality. So I was looking for a solid wood instrument. I was also looking for an instrument that I could grow into as I continue to increase in skill. So instead of just buying the 1615 average size dulcimer, I wanted to get something a little bit bigger than that. Nothing huge, but something a little bit bigger than average. So throughout part of 2019 and a lot of 2020, I was doing research on exactly what instrument would be best for me. And after all that time, I came up with uh, the Masterworks Russell Cook Edition. The Masterworks Russell Cook Edition is a 1717 size dulcimer, which means it has 17 sets of notes on the treble side and 17 notes on the bass side. And it also has an extra six notes on the side of the instrument. Uh, so that definitely gives me room to grow as a player as I increase my skills. Uh, it is also made out of that solid wood that I was looking for. Um, and then the third thing that really sold me on the instrument is that I think all of the Masterworks dulcimers, uh, they're really high quality and they're also a really good value for the size of the instruments and the quality that they've been created with. Uh, so I went with a Masterworks Russell Cook Edition. So here we are at my new hammer dulcimer. It is so large, I had trouble getting the whole thing into the frame. You can see that we're missing the far edges of the instrument. 
But what you can see in this, this uh, view is you can see the 17 sets of notes on the treble bridge and you can see the 17 individual notes that are on the bass bridge right here. There are also three extra notes up here on the top and if I move the camera just a little bit, you can see that there are three more notes down here in the very far left corner as well. Yesterday, I had a chance to tune this up for the first time. Um, it took a while because there's just so many more notes than I'm used to. Um, but in the process of tuning it, I found out that my current tuner, which is a clip-on tuner, which usually um, it would go up here at the top of a bridge or down near the bottom, um, it doesn't work very well on an instrument of this size. So I have ordered a new tuner that doesn't need to clip on and it is coming, but I haven't gotten it yet which means that I did my best tuning this instrument yesterday, but it's not perfect. However, I can play a few notes for you so that you can hear exactly what it sounds like. I'm so excited about my new instrument. It sounds beautiful and it's just beautiful overall. Next week I am planning to post my first recording with the new dulcimer. I haven't decided what song I'm going to record. It could be something new that I'm working on right now, but it might be a re-recording of something that I've shared previously and that way you'll be able to really hear the difference between my current dulcimer that you're used to hearing on this channel and my new dulcimer that you're going to be seeing a lot of very soon. Either way, I will see you next week with my new dulcimer. If you haven't already, uh, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys around. Bye!